Level one fundamentals, helping new beginner golfers develop the right fundamentals. All right, we're excited to share with you a program that's going to help your beginner golfers develop a great foundation for their setup, be able to move into a backswing where they then can really feel a powerful transition and downswing. So the goal here is you're the coach. We just want to give you some great activities that you can plug in to get new golfers moving better. All right, to load the level one fundamentals program, we're going to click on train from the home screen. We're going to go to programs. And now we're just going to scroll down here until we see level one fundamental program. It'll be in the golf section. If we drop this down now, you're going to see there's five activities we're going to be working on with players. So I'll simply load this program, launch it, and we'll show you how to walk through this with your new beginner players. All right, the first activity in the level one fundamental program is bended address. And here we're just going to make sure our new player can set up in a great golf posture. So Patrick's going to go ahead and set up. Once again, the key here, get your player where you want them, depending on the club that they're hitting, get them set exactly where you want them. Let's just say for a new player, this looks really good. We're going to come in and we're going to click set guide live. That now locks in the posture for this player. So now Patrick can walk out almost like he's doing a little pre-shot routine. The player can walk in and they're going to really perfectly practice this new posture. All right. Now one thing you can do here and just to keep note on Patrick, you can relax for just a second. We're going to click on this plus sign. You'll notice this drops down the tolerance and you can see the, the size of these green rings here. Well, we can actually now take this and we can make this activity a little more challenging. You can see those rings shrink up or we can make the drill a little bit easier. So as your new players progress, you can take this towards hard. Patrick can walk out one more time, walk back in. It's the exact same posture that we set before, but he has to be more specific now and how you're training. So tolerance is a great way not only to get players to practice the right way, but it also challenges them along their learning path. All right, the second drill we're going to look at is advanced posture. This is going to add one metric to the first drill we did, bended address. Simply have the player get set up into their ideal posture. All we're making sure now is from the down the line camera, this looks good, nice and neutral. Now we're also making sure that they've got the right amount of secondary tilt. So we're adding in that component that's affected by grip. Once the player's in a good athletic position that you'd like them to be in, here's the key, click set guide live. And that locks in that posture now for the player. So now Patrick can walk out. He can walk back in. We're taking the skill level up just a little bit where now is not only does his bend have to be right, he also has to have that right amount of side bend really helpful for players to get started with the game. All right, the third activity we're going to look at is takeaway sequence 2040. Really going to help a new golfer get the backswing started in an efficient way, separating the upper body from the lower body. So Patrick's going to go ahead and set up. You can actually start with this golf club across his chest just to start. And all he's going to start to do is just make little separation moves going back. Good. A couple more times. Good. Now we can put the club down and we'll just make the skill more like an actual golf swing and we'll do one rep and you'll see when pelvis, Patrick's pelvis gets to 20 degrees of rotation and the upper body gets to 40, we get the tone. So it's a rotation drill, hence the 2040 and we're really promoting an early separation of the torso away from the pelvis. Great for new golfers, helps them get the golf club in a good orientation in the backswing, it's going to really help set up a good backswing at the top. The fourth drill we're looking at in the level one fundamental program is advanced 3D pelvis at top. This is a great way to give your players awareness of what the pelvis is doing at the top of the backswing. It really is going to help a player transition. So simply swing back. Once again, I'm here with my player. The numbers don't have to be perfect. I don't even have them on the screen. We swing back. When the player's lower body is in the orientation that I want, once again, simply click set guide live. Okay, we'll have the player swing back down, back to the top. Once again, I can change the view here by clicking on the V key. We can see that from different orientations. Good. One more time. Really helps get the lower body set up for a new player to help them transition into the downswing. 
All right, the last drill we're going to look at is advanced 3D upper body at top. Now that we've got the pelvis in a good position at the top of the backswing for a new player, now let's make sure that upper body is a good orientation. will really help get the golf club where we want it to be to start the downswing. Once again, have the player swing back. A lot of times you can just do this visually. Get the player into a good orientation. I'm going to set live here. That just locked in that orientation, their shoulder plane, and it also locked in their rotation. The other thing I can do here, you'll notice this tolerance button. I can actually tighten this up to make this activity a little bit more challenging and a little bit more specific for the player. So be careful with new golfers here. We'll have Patrick swing back. Patrick's not a new player, obviously, but you can really play with how challenging these activities are. Once again, if I've got a brand new golfer, I might take this tolerance, make it a lot easier, and now when they go back, there's a lot more room for error as they get better and better and they control their movements better. You can really start to tighten up the tolerance and give them a better opportunity for skill acquisition. Now that we've customized all those activities for the player, we want to make sure we save it as a client program. We're going to simply click save. We're going to uncheck save over existing program because that was a global program. We're going to click save as and now we're going to save it as a client program. We'll call this level one fundamentals. Now when we click save, the next time the player comes in, you simply just go to the train button. We go to client programs, now not global, and you'll see on the bottom here, this is level one fundamentals, but the key is all of these activities now are customized for the player. Whereas your global program was your default, that's how it started. So the key to saving client programs is they become very specific for the player. This player can now come back and practice perfectly every time. Level one fundamentals.